Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Dio and today we're going to go through how to assess your SQL Server database in preparation to migrate to Azure. We're going to use a tool called Microsoft Data Migration Assistant, often called the DMA tool. We can download this tool right from the link posted in the descriptions. I've already downloaded it, so let's create our first assessment. Click the plus button on the top left hand corner. Make sure the assessment option is checked. I'm going to give the project a name. I'll call my SQL Server to Azure SQL MI. And this is because I'm going to be migrating this database to Azure SQL Managed Instance. You can see my source is SQL Server and I'll have my target as Azure SQL Managed Instance. Press Create. And this will ask me what I am looking to assess. The options we have here are database compatibility and feature parity. Both options are checked by default and I'm okay with it, so I'll press next. Now it's time to put in my SQL Server instance name. I'll go ahead and type it in. For the authentication type, for me it's Windows Authentication, but you can also use SQL Server Authentication if you choose. And for the connection properties, I have both of these options checked and I'll press connect. Now we can see the databases in the SQL Server instance. I'll select all of them and press add. If you wanted to just select a few of them, you can. And now we can begin the assessment. You can also add more SQL Server instances if you please. But for now, we're going to go ahead and click start assessment. If there are feature parities, this will be where you see them. But for this assessment, there are none. Next, we'll go see if there are compatibility issues. Click on this option here and we can see it's loading. So we'll give it a few minutes. We can see it's completed now. So here we can review the breaking changes, behavioral changes, deprecated features, or informational issues between each of these different versions. Now that we have the full assessment, you might want to send this over to a teammate, somebody else to review. And you can do this by pressing the save assessment button. Go ahead and give it a name and then press save. Next, you can go into the DMA repo to see all the assessments you've ran over the time by pressing the back button. Here we can go over the assessment again if we wanted to. Another option to show here is the export assessment option. You can export this as a JSON or a CSV file. I'll prefer CSV because I can open it with Excel. Going back to the option to view all assessments, we have the option to load the assessments that has been sent to us by clicking the load assessment button. And we can see the DMA file we see here is the one that we just saved. So I would not open this. But you get the idea of how you will load a DMA file that was sent to you. Thanks for watching this video. Feel free to comment, like, and also subscribe to stay tuned for the next update. Thank you.